imagine that you have a problem that you need to solve. And you go to your friend and you tell your friend, I have this problem I need to solve. (laughs) And the friend says, go see John. And you say, John? Yeah, go see John. Who's John? What do you mean, who is John? John is John. Go see John. So you take that information, whatever that is, and you go out into the world and you don't really know what to do. So you just start asking for John. John, start calling for John. Start asking people if they know John, if they've seen John. And then all of a sudden you walk into, you know, a spot and say you're looking for John and somebody sitting there goes, I'm John. That's my name. Oh, well, great. I've been looking for you because I have this problem. You tell this John your problem. And maybe it, maybe John gives you an answer. Maybe John's like, uh, I mean, I guess in that situation, I would blank. Gives you some kind of direction. Or maybe he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Or maybe he is she. Or maybe he's like four. Or maybe he's not even of the same like belief system as you, right? Like maybe your problem is I, you know, can't figure out who keeps taking my lunch. That's your problem. And this John's solution to that is poison your lunch so whoever eats it dies. Well, uh, John, that isn't a solution I would ever want to have, but your friend told you to go see John. (laughs) So what the heck? So you go back to your friend and tell him whatever the hell, whatever this John is says. And he's like, that's not John. What do you mean? It's not John. His name was John. Yeah, but it's not the John I was talking about. Okay. Well, bro, but you didn't, (laughs) you didn't say anything except for Go find John. So I went, uh, I mean, I thought I found John, but I guess I just found a John. And the friend, you know, goes, yeah, no, this John, you know, he lives here. He works here. He's about this tall. He's about this wide. He has these facial features. He has this type of voice. Um, Maybe even this is his last name. Well, why the hell didn't you tell me all of that the first time? Why in the world when I told you my problem and you said, go see John, did you just send me out into the world to just go find a John? And the friend goes, those other Johns aren't John to me. The John that I'm talking about is John to me. And that in my opinion, is what is going on with everybody when it comes to the word God. So take the whole story and replace John with God. And I think that's what's been happening for all time, for all like human time history, in the sense that like, You got people looking for God and don't know who or what to look for. You got a bunch of things and people with the name even of God or who say that they're God or who say that they know God. But do they? Because there's a lot of Johns and there's a lot of gods. Lowercase g. But there's only one God. There's only one. There is only one source. There is only one creator. There is only one salvation. There is only one love. There is only one mercy, one redemption, one that is true. And all of those other things that I listed sit under the name of the one true God. But even if I say the name of the one true God, you can break down the mouth noises I use to say it based on the associations past or present 
with that repute, reputation and calling and say it's true or not true. But you can only do that because we all know the attributes of the one true God. Because it's evident. It's evident. But all of these other gods, they have their idea of justice. They have their idea of mercy or lack thereof, of grace or lack thereof, of righteousness or lack thereof. They have both their own ideas of what is and isn't important and their definition of what those things are. But the truth is self-evident. It's usually that thing that you're really uncomfortable with in yourself keeping you from seeing it because you would have to forsake it as part of a bad god, an idol. So yeah, um, who is John Galt? <laughs> Let's end it there. <laughs> oh man.